Be sure to check out my link tree to find my Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and Teespring. Link in the description. Kaiju, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and more. It's Steven's Story Reviews. Hey, hello, collectors. It's Steven here with yet another, but not the last, for King of the Monsters. Figure Fight. You saw the thumbnail and I've teased it, so let's get on into it. In this corner, we have NECA's Burning Godzilla 2019, a Target exclusive for North America. Yep, Target exclusive. And in the other corner, we have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019, a P-Bandai exclusive brought to the U.S. as a general release through Bluefin Distribution. These two releases are burning for the spot on your shelf. So... There will be a straw poll in the description so the community can vote. And boy, I have a feeling this is going to be a hot mess in the comments. Oh well, remember, it's a Tale of the Tape series. Not necessarily a subjective feeling contest on which one you or I think is better. Let's get it on. Start the... Figure fight. Round one. Price. Oh yeah, we're gonna break tradition. Yep, you're gonna be in for one hell of a ride. The NECA tops out at $30 with tax if you don't have a red card, lots of people do, so I am gonna just mention that. While the SH Monster Arts has an MSRP of $89.99. Yep, NECA gets the point. Round two. Articulation. I'll show it to you here and recap at the end because I need to make a point and remind everyone, apparently. There's no accessory section since neither have them. There's no point in scoring it if they don't have it. Okay, same mold as the last two figure fights, so pretty basic ball joints on the NECA with some hinges and swivels here and there. With limited range, while the SH Monster Arts has several ball joints and can look in many different directions and hold several different poses. You can pose this figure in many different ways compared to the NECA. So the SH Monster Arts slugs it in the jaw and knocks it down and gets the point. Round three. Scale. They're effectively the same size, so here, there's no knockdown slug punch. Can't happen. You can make the SHMA look a little bit bigger if you try, but that's really just pushing the joints to make it look a little awkward. Which, no, that's not fair. Nope, nope, nope. Scale, here, it's a tie. Round four. Sculpt and paint. All right, I'm going to my bomb shelter. There's an argument here it can come down to personal preference, which is totally understandable. The figure fights don't really matter. These are just for fun to see which figure does what better. And it helps some collectors compartmentalize, I'm using big words there, the aspects of figures to help them decide which they may like more. That said, I'm not looking to have them stand there looking at each other in a daze during a figure fight. Somebody's got to come out a winner. Accuracy to the source material isn't exactly the deciding factor. It's maybe a part if it comes down to the nitty gritty. This series looks at quality control, details, and, um, well, the NECA does have an interesting portrayal of Burning Godzilla 19 with crackles of lightning going down the legs and the back and a good attempt at the burning skin quality. And in some scenes, yes, if we're going back to accuracy, it does look pretty good. However, there's an overspray in some areas, pure masking in others with no real attempt to blend in any areas, specifically from the dorsal plates onto the skin. It looks a little too uniform and not trying to make this one whole figure, for an example. And then if we take a look at the dorsal plates on the tail itself it doesn't really blend in with the tail so eh, there's a little bit of a issue there with how they were able to make this figure look nice and coherent also some of the better details on the dorsal plates are lost at a distance 
Regarding the SH Monster Arts, I did dunk on it for some things in the review. There's a lot of different ideas tried. Some of the areas do look a little off-colored, but I don't see paint slop, extreme contrast of colors going from really bright immediately to really dark. There's a lot of different yellows and oranges used all throughout the body here, which are easily recognizable. There's also an attempt, even if not the best executed, to blend in the bright oranges on the back with the intended charcoal on the main body that being said again i'm going to my bomb shelter one two gut punch the monster arts is getting the point and the match final bell that's it it's over the sh monster arts wins in articulation and sculpt and paint while the NECA gets the price. It was a narrow victory in the looks, but Bandai's made it narrowly on top. Do you think the ref made any bad calls anywhere? Any cheap shots made? Well, I know you probably think so, so please comment down below and vote in the fan poll. And like I said, we have another figure fight for King of the Monsters to come. I'm not going to say what it is, except for I have dropped teasers for it on my social media. Thanks to the patrons for helping out. Here's your dedicated end card for showing your support. It really does help the channel out a lot. I have a feeling we have another ad apocalypse coming. Rest in peace, YouTube. So if you're not a patron, you can get your name on here every month too. Now the end card. If YouTube is working right for some reason, it's not allowing me to save end cards, but I'm just keeping on keeping on. So yeah, you can check out some other neat things. Short links to different things like my Teespring store. You can check out other videos. You can even subscribe. It would be really great if you did that. All right. Time to head out. Um, you'll know where to find me. I'll catch you in the next video.